Hello, hello! Blart here, with Blue Pulse, the Fujin Heretics Shinryu fight. We're bringing a no synergy team featuring Terra, Kane, and Freya. No friend unit either, so if you want to use this team for Dare to Defy, feel free. Before we get too deep into it, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, leave a comment down below, and ring that notification bell. Help me drive up them engagement numbers, and uh, defeat YouTube in this battle of uh, social media prowess. Yeah, that, that sounds compelling. Um, so what do we got here? Well, this isn't actually my Dare to Defy team. I think I'm going to end up slotting Camelot in here, like doing the Camelot Machina thing here. Because um, he's not that great in Tier 10, and I've kind of heard this in Tier 10 are like the, the scary fights of this cycle. Um... Terra might end up going into Transcendence, but I figured, you know, we'll start off with, uh, you know, I'm sure at this point you've seen plenty of Camelot Machina goofery, and, uh, you know, we'll bring, to, you know, new, fancy new FR, Terra is here with this, uh, this sweet time-traveled force weapon. Let's use her here. So this fight is, um, it's, it's not super threatening, but that doesn't mean it's easy, if that makes sense. Um, they got a couple of nasty tricks to throw at you. The first thing that you'll notice, well, I don't know if you'll notice it necessarily here, but the first thing you'll observe is the turn count is 80, and the bosses have, like, or no, sorry, 90, not 80, I misspoke. They have 180 hit points and 90 turns. I mean, you have to do about 2 million damage per turn on average to, uh, to kill them, and that's a very high damage requirement. I think that's a, the biggest damage spike we've seen in a long time. Luckily, of course, force weapons make that doable, but it certainly means that uh, no force runs are going to require high-octane teams. I, you know, something like, I know I saw that Excalibur pulled off something with, uh, what is it, Garnet, Realm, Ramza, was that it? Garnet, Orin, I forget. Uh, Garnet was there, Realm was there, I think Ramza was the third, but um, crazy stuff. If you're into that sort of thing, I feel like that probably must have taken a while, and uh, I think I... Uh, I'm a little bit... At this point, I'm kind of cool just FRing my way through this era, because if that's what they want me to do, by gum, I'm going to do it. What are we doing here? Uh, we've basically been kind of playing casual-like, um, just pressing buttons to charge up this FR, which we're now just about ready to do. We've gotten everything into position, and we're going to pull the trigger. So... What do we got uh, going on as far as setup? Because uh, mostly I was just press pressing buttons up to this point, which is why I wasn't really talking about what was going on. Uh, we have Fujin base call on Freya. I mentioned this is a no synergy run. I tried it. I wanted to avoid using her LD call um, and just do the base call because you know, hey, that way you can see. Hey, you don't need to pull to beat this fight or whatever. 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 The reason people brag about no synergy or what have you. Uh, and then we have Kane holding Leo call, which is still, I think, my favorite call to use with Terra because she has so many single target attacks. And we managed, we, we've set up with the FR into LD into burst effect, and we're going to be doing a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of damage. Um, so let's, I guess, talk about the fight, because, I mean, you've seen Terra at this point. You, you know how she works. Oh, actually, well, here, here's something kind of... I don't know if this is, this isn't like tech or anything, but this was something kind of fun and interesting to do when I decided, realized I could do it this way. Which is, we're actually going to press the LD... But then, uh, we're going to hop right into the summon right now. And the reason for that... The reason for that is we're going to take advantage of that Mega Flare and spam a bunch of Riot Blades in a row because uh, it hits a bit harder than Terra's other skills. I don't know if this is the most efficient use of summon, but... We, we kind of do actually make it work. Because another trick that I've been using in a lot of my runs uh, since the FR era started is having my FR character hold and use at the end of their FR Cyan Call in order to do a sweet amount of damage. We have a nice 610% HP bonus here. Now Cyan's going to sweep in and deal just shy of 20 million damage. Hey, you love to see it. Ah, okay, now we're going to get a bit bogged down because uh, FR time is over, and so we're going to be dealing like half of the damage they need us to do for this fight per turn. Um... So what's going on with this fight now that I'm, I've am like talked over most of uh, the setup? We have this FR attack. It's not super duper threatening, but it is kind of annoying because it gives them a pretty beefy Brave Floor. I mean, they can't be broken, and they default to 
Well, it's funny, I, I mean, I think, um, in some ways the fight isn't threatening, because they don't have, been, like, a whole lot of scary stuff in the way of, like, you know, Brave and HP attacks and, like, you know, scary recast and stuff. Um, but when they're in their force time, their Brave floor is high enough that it, they kind of stay at a threatening level. Like, at this point in the fight, you're going to see, like, once they get up to about 20k Brave, they're going to stay there. And if you don't have some kind of defensive mitigation or a way to just kind of, you know, dodge their attacks, <laughs> Dragoons, um, that could be problematic. Um, it also, you know, obviously makes certain characters feel a lot dumber in this fight, like, uh, you know, like, some, some kind of break phase character probably wouldn't have a, a very fun time here. I'm hopping into the burst phase now to try to charge up my FR gauge as much as possible. Um, I guess I didn't have to do it, but I, I wanted to try to take advantage of the Leo call as long as possible as well. Probably better than saving it for force time, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Because I really, I knew once we, went, you know, once we went into force time, so long as we had at least one LD left on Terra, we, we could kind of seal the deal. But anyway, um, the force time can be frozen. The enemy force time can be frozen by using an FR attack with wind, which is not hard to do because all you need is a non-elemental FR and you know the base call for either. <laughs> Actually, either Barts or Fujin. Barts would do it too if you are just looking to freeze their gauge or their FR time. That said, um, I'm not really sure why you would, because it still stays there and like, I mean, I guess it turns off the Brave Floor for a while, but then it comes right back once you're done. So unless you're killing them during that time, which is a tall order given their hit points, I don't know if it's that worth it. Um, you do need some wind. At the 50% mark, they gain a green aura, and if you don't, don't deal them wind damage, they'll delay you every time you act. Which can be annoying. That's the reason that we brought that Fujin call on Freya. But, uh, yeah. That's about it, I think. Um, really, I think the big challenging part of this fight is probably just the HP requirement. Or not, not HP, uh, the, uh, the damage requirement. The damage check, I guess, with the turns. Because two million, two million damage a turn is, no, that's, that's not chump change. Anyway, we we've just about run out of all of our cool, our cool good call effects here, so we're gonna just send our dragoons back into the sky and um, have Terra do Terra spam. We're not gonna jump into the LD just yet because we're trying to charge that gauge. We're trying to charge that FR gauge and uh, spamming a bunch of instant turns with LD. As fun as it is. It only ch charges the gauge a little bit, I find. It's like, you know, maybe, I don't know, one and a half, two percent per uh, per action. And you know, I wanted to save my LD uses for once my FR was up. So we're going to use one here just to charge that gauge, but the other one's going to get saved. You see there, look at how scary that Brave is. Uh, if we weren't in the sky, like, I mean, RNG-wise, that could have been, you know, they could have killed Terry if I was, uh, if things didn't go my way. Luckily, two-thirds chance of dodging their attack. Um, and I think that all attack is just a brave attack too, so A isn't actually a scary person right now. We don't really care about that. Now this is going to be a little bit dis depressing. Uh, I think the FR gauge is going to charge, is going to be just shy where we need it to be in order to activate the uh, the force time. So we're going to have to go ahead and let Kane and, uh, and Freya fall from the sky and deal with that. Yeah. Um, what else we got going on here? That's about it. I mean, it's kind of refreshing in a way because uh, usually when we fight the Flumen Dracos, uh, these guys that mostly I think have shown up in the Desh event in Lost Chapter. Was it Desh? I think, yeah, I think it was the Desh Lost Chapter. Uh, they were dangerous. They were scary. They they beat you up really hard if you uh, didn't have mitigation. Um, it was, it was a, a challenging fight, and so uh, in some ways I'm like, okay, these guys are on this. You know, it's a damage check, sure, but it's not like uh, you know they're they're not like going to kill you if you're, uh, you know, basically every turn. Okay, here we go. Actually, it's, it's a good thing that uh, this came up right when it did, because once again, you can see that's a lot of brave they're holding, aiming at the Dragoons, though, so... I don't know. It, if this is one of the hardest fights we're dealing with this month, um, mechanically, it's not that much. Uh, tier 10 is probably going to be a bit more taxing. Um, I think it's going to probably catch some folks off guard if they weren't prepared for it. But uh, for those of you who are, I'm sure you'll be all right. You're, you're, you're a smart bunch. You're a, a resilient crew. I'm sure you'll be just fine. There we go. Speaking of just fine, clearing that with that last lancet. So, there we have it. Fujin's Heretics. Uh, no friend, no synergy, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so thanks for watching. 
and I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Adios.